What's going on ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing? Welcome back to another football video. So here's my live reaction to the England and the Denmark game. Let's see what this game is going to bring us. Will England reach the final finally? First chance created by England. Harry came with a beautiful lob right there to Sterling, but Sterling's positioning was off. And then second chance for England. Sterling just does a beautiful nutmeg around Denmark's defense and tries to strike the ball with his weak foot, but the keeper just saves it. And so ladies and gents, we have a free kick here for Denmark. So this is a really good chance for Denmark to see if they can score here here against England because they've been doing pretty well on the counters. All right, free kick by Denmark. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that was an incredible free kick. Seriously, man. I don't think I've ever seen a beautiful free kick in this tournament besides that. Seriously. Oh my god. And now England have a free kick opportunity here inside Denmark's half. So let's see if England can get that equalizer before halftime. It's currently the 35th minute. And Sterling can get the ball in the net. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a game. Sterling with the equalizer here for England. Beautiful response by England. England managed to get that equalizer equalizer right before halftime. So it looks like that Sterling's not going to be credited with the goal because it's going to be an own goal by Kiar. So far in the second half, all I have to say is Denmark, they are doing a heck of a job of creating chances against England. Kasper Dolberg had a brilliant opportunity to put Denmark up, but Pickford denied him with a brilliant save. But Denmark, man, they are really just pushing England's back for right now. And I'm surprised Denmark hasn't scored here yet because England right now, they're looking kind of lost. So now it's three minutes past the 60th minute and England right now, they are slowly but surely picking up the pace. They had a great opportunity to put themselves up, but Schmeichel with just a brilliant save to deny England a second goal, man. Schmeichel right now is really stepping up his game. But one thing I'm trying to figure out is why was Domsgaard subbed off? He was having a great game against England, man. I don't get why Denmark's manager decided to sub him off. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of regulation, and all I have to say is, man, Denmark's defense towards the end of the game just did a heck of a job of just preventing England from getting a game winner, because I legit thought this was going to be one of those games where England are going to get a 90th minute winner, but hey, Denmark, they just absolutely were persistent. All right, let's see what happens here. Harry Kane's taking the penalty here for England. He steps up. What's he going to do? Oh, Schmeichel! Oh, -ho -ho! Harry Kane scored. Schmeichel got a save on the penalty, but it just deflected into the path of Harry Kane, and it's a goal, man. England are up 2-1. to one. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the game here. England win 2-1, and they are in the final for the first time since 1966. That's right. England have a chance to create history once again, and let's be honest here for once. England, they well deserve this, man, because their fans have been through so much heartbreak, you know, from the 1990 World Cup to 1986 to 1990, what was it, Euro 96. So what can I say, man? Uh, well deserved for England. They're going to be facing Italy in the final. It's going to be a very tough matchup for England, I feel like. But I will get to that in another preview video just because I want to talk about this game, just because, man, what a game this was. But let's be honest, in extra time, England were just dominant on the ball. It looked like that Denmark got way too defensive. And what I think Denmark were missing in this game was just a very solid, lethal strike like Holland, for example, because imagine if Denmark had Holland here, then I think Denmark would have definitely put up at least two Gs against England. But I mean, in extra time, it looked like that Denmark were just absolutely gassed out and England, they were just able to take advantage of Denmark's, you know, worn out defense. And England got that goal in extra time. And now they're in the final here for the first time since 1966. So this is going to be a crazy final, man. But let's be honest here for once, we got to give Denmark the respect that they deserve just because of that whole Ericsson thing was just an absolute heartbreaker. But for Denmark to make it to the final for without Christian Eriksen was very respectable and that's why you got to respect about this Denmark team. But hey, well deserved for England. I mean, they've been underachieving a lot these past, what, 50 years now and England are finally in a final. Now let's talk about the penalty because I don't think that should have been a penalty just because it's obvious that the Denmark defenders did not even foul Sterling right there. But hey, this is football stuff. Like this happens all the time. This is not the first time that it happened. But England, they still deserve to win this game just because they did a heck of a job in extra time of just, you know, being able just to pressure Denmark's back for. Now, of course, we can talk about Denmark just because, you know, I think that if Denmark had a striker that was capable of being on Holland's level, then I think Denmark probably would have won this game. Just because I think that if Denmark can get themselves a very solid lethal striker, then they are going to be a really good team for the future. Anyways, ladies and gents, that's my video here. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.